depravity is still gnawing at us. This is Paul when he says in Romans, the things I want to do, live holy, reflect Jesus Christ, love my brothers unconditionally, right? I don't do them. And the things I don't want to do, anger, strife, envy, jealousy, laziness, I'm doing those. What does he say? Oh, wretched man that I am, who will save me from this body of death? He's saying this as a believer. What does he say? Try harder, read your Bible more, pray more. All of those things are good. But his conclusion is this. If praying and reading your Bible and if the preaching of God's word does not conclude in what? Christ. You're not fixing the problem that you're having. John 9 and John 10 absolutely in full color display just how depraved that we are before salvation. Going into the church and reading the church letters, how can you not read Corinthians and think to myself, and think to yourself, yeah, I'm pretty sure depravity still remains because these people are, just go read Corinthians, they are messed up. They're sleeping with each other, they're cheating, they're lying, they're stealing. People are dying because they're just being horrible. And Paul comes in and goes, I want to make nothing known among you except for Christ and whom crucified. Why? Because they have lost the focus of the depravity that they're in and the need that they have. Okay? So as a church, and we focus in our attention going into the series, it will be from the standpoint that we have the power of the Spirit in us to actually love and to do the things that are required, but our greatest need is to be reminded of where that power comes from and our standing with God, and we rest in our standing, in our position with Jesus Christ. And it's from that resting position, we now love and care for each other and care for the community. The greatest moment every week is that moment where we get to feed on Christ. When you take the bread and when you take the juice, this is what I, I, I want you to remind yourself of. It is a physical picture of a spiritual reality. The moment that you eat It is that spiritual moment where you're saying, without Christ, without feeding on Christ, without receiving Christ, I cannot be sustained. I I have nothing. And without Christ's sacrifice, the blood that which he shed for me, I have no standing before him. Now, if you do not take the Lord's table, it doesn't mean that that goes away. But you know what does go away for us who are still depraved? The hope. We so easily shift our hope from the finished work of Jesus Christ to our own obedience. You cannot put your faith in you and your obedience. This is why every week, symbolically, we feast on Jesus Christ to remind us that it's Jesus that feeds us, Jesus that sustains us, and Jesus that saves us. So this is a wonderful symbol a wonderful symbol that we partake in every week. Thank you for listening. Today's reminder is from John Moffat, pastor of Grace Reformed Church in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Everyday Grace is a listener-supported podcast. If you would like to help support our ministry, please visit theocast.org give.